Hello and welcome to this edition of Game Time with Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn for the PlayStation 3. Joining us as always is our level 49 white mage, Chrono Ocelot. And today we are right outside of the um, Cerulean Processing Plant. Um, that's where our storyline has actually pulled us over to. So let's see if we can find this guy. There it goes. All the way over this direction. So yeah, this is where um, where our storyline has pulled us. So it's lovely to actually get a chance to come over here and say what's up. So, Mr. Edelstein, Flame Lieutenant, has our next storyline mission for us. Let's have a chat to him. Hearts on Fire. So he's offering us um, a couple little rings of some sort and uh, some money. General Robon would no doubt be pleased to hear from you. You will find him over over by the Aether Right. We just came from over there, we didn't see him. Oh well, there he is. Go figure. Just appeared. Robon. Ever a sight for sore eyes, my friend. I'm told you worked wonders on the morale for of our garrison at Blue Fog. I would have you do the same for the troops here. They put on a brave face when I'm about but the fire in their hearts quivers as a candle in the wind. I, I can see it in their hair, in their bearing. About the camp, there are green recruits whose resolve falters. Find them, Chrono, and rekindle their fighting spirit the way only a hero can. Once you have seen to the others, go and do the same for Edel Edelstein. No matter what he may claim, the lieutenant would also be better for a bit of rousing. Trust me, I know. All right, yes, sir, Mr. Rob on. So let's uh, find these green recruits, as you call them, and let's uh, go tell them about our deeds and whatnot, and give them a little cheer. Flame Private Second Class. Oh, you can tell you just look down. Look at you. Oh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Huh. Uh, so I guess I have to. What is it? Ruse or Psych? There we go. So you can see Psych up there in the. Uh, in the duty list. And I do have that. There you go. Wah! The Guardians are not near as frightening as you. <laughs> I'd sooner face a vanguard while naked as my name day. Third class over there hiding in the shadows. I'm, I'm fine, truly. No, nothing to worry worry about. Just a, a mild case of b b battlefield nerves. Yeah. Come on, lad, as you are. Get up there. Rah! I break my fast on garlands, and right now I'm very hungry. <laughs> okay, nice. And the other one should be straight down this location. Yeah, that's what they also have. Oops, I ran out so around the back side of it. But yeah, I um, did the same thing at Camp Blue Fog. Just about ran through and um, and had to just talk to some people. Not uh, sure yet. The stirring just gesticulation has reawakened me to my purpose. Hero or no, I will fight tooth and nail to protect the realm. Nice. You would stroke my fighting spirit as you did the recruits? Ha ha ha. A kind offer, but hardly necessary, I assure you. The fire in my heart rages as strongly as it, as it ever has. Just in case, we'll throw that at you. Just in case. By Ralgar, without my realizing it, the fire of my resolve had grown dim. But thanks to you, it burns red hot once more. If needs be, I shall lay down my life to secure victory for yours, yeah. Nice. Money and experience is good for us. Alright, it'll see. Let's see what else we got going on. Sat in the stage. What else we got? Okay, what else we got? A short while ago, the flame general struck for Castro Mir Mirin 
Miradianum, <laughs> alas, no sooner did his contingent gain the resistance line than an imperial patrol fell upon them. We are informed that they successfully won, though, but enemy patrols yet linger in the area. Our main host could easily crush their like, to be sure, but we dare not deploy them at this juncture, lest we prematurely stir the hornet's nest. That the operation might proceed unhampered, I would have you thin out the Imperial presence at Robon's push. It should suffice if you were to vanquish three of each, each of their vanguards and foot soldiers. Once you have accomplished this, pray join the frame, Flame General at the Operation Staging Point. May Ralgar give you strength. Okay, so... Now we have our mission to shoot up to this area up here. And kill off a few of these guys. Actually, let's, let's see part. There it goes. So again, what I've been trying to do is um, avoid trying to trying to use the white mage to pick up any sort of uh, excess experience points from a lot of things because I wanted to save it for the storyline, um, actual storyline uh, experience that they give you. Um, but yeah, seems as if I really don't have much of a choice at this at this juncture in um in my progression. I mean, what is it? It's a proper amount of about. About uh, thirty thousand away, forty thousand away from um from the level fifty, but yeah, seems like I have no choice. Let's take a while to kill these guys off there. Take a look. That's what I'll do. That takes a little while longer than it does with my dragoon. Because of course my dragon's damage dealing is a healer. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, change off into gonna change off into my dragoon. I mean, these little guys' experience, I'd rather not really bother with. Will they give me 579 for it? Yeah. Rather not get involved with that too much. Actually, you know what? Yes, I will. I'm just going to let Epoch do the battle for me. Because Epoch can use some experience anyway. Epoch, go handle them. That'll do it. That's what that type of stuff is for. There you go. That's exactly what this type of stuff is for. Alright, so yeah, we'll just leave Epoch to handle it for us. That way we can still get the experience, but he can too. Take a little peek real quick. So companions, we're at rank five. What was it? One thirteen. So we're gonna see. Should be about like six, six something's where I should pull out. Uh, no thanks. Uh, 
was not there. They added there was actual details about it. So you can check and arise and buy. Nope. Simply because I'm not interested right now, but then it should be right. I'm already level 50. Should have been done in that episode about the uh, free companies. I think the big thing that's been slowing me down from actually wanting to join up with a free company is um I want one like how Sambo's had, where they actually had events that they would they would schedule and get together. People would um would uh like have fashion shows and get together for their for the little eat um Eorzea walks and whatnot. That's something I wanted to do. I kinda kinda wanna start off my own. But uh but yeah, I don't want to end up just having to recruit a whole bunch of people like how they do here. They're, right now, there are just too many uh, different free companies. I'm not really sure which one to join, which one will be the funnest, or which one's just recruit members. Like, obviously, that one's just recruiting members because they didn't have anything to do with talking with me. It's like, hey, somebody doesn't have one here. Join our group. Join our cause. Ha ha ha. Alright, you probably go take them on. Okay, that's the second one. So, yeah, what's going on? They ain't got the second one. Because I was looking at you park the whole time. Got you, okay. Alright, perfect. So, yeah, we'll do that. Throw a little cure onto him. Just let him handle the rest of it. You to handle the rest of that. I'll take a peek. I see you've cleared the way for the main host. My well, thanks. I might have given the task to another ra ra rather than risk your neck before the mission. But what's done is done. Besides, it's probably served to loosen up your joints. This is it, Chrono. The moment of reckoning. Yorzia's future hinges upon your deeds this day. Oh. Alright, rock the castrum. There we go. No experience at all, just some money. Rabon stands ready to commence at the pen, pen, pen ultimate phase of the Operation Archeon. Okay. Let's take it. Let's go with it. Why not? Wasn't planning on uh, getting in that, that deep that quick, but sure. Why not? Brothers and sisters of the Alliance, I would share with you glad tidings. Doubtless spurred on by the news of the siege of Castrum Oriens, the Maelstrom has struck a double blow. Castrum Ossidens and Castrum Mer Merinum are now under blockade. Phase 2 of Operation Archeon is, su is a success! <laughs> Reports tell us that Garleans offered fierce resistance, but that the Admiral yielded them not one elm. With Ossidents, Marinum, and Orions thus suppressed, the third phase may begin in earnest. Even as we speak, the Order of the Twin Adder moves to block the railway leading hither from Castrum a century, and that, and that can mean but one thing. The hour has come to strike at the heart of Garlean invasion force. Castrum Miradinum, the den of the Black Wolf. My fellow Eorzeans, I am Menophilia, mistress of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. There exist myriad barriers that divide us, those of race and nation, language and creed, to name but a few. Such barriers serves to isolate us from our neighbors, 
yet they also serve to define who we are. Shorn of them, there will be little to dis distinguish one from another, and the rich variety of our lives would give way to sterile orthodoxy. These barriers can never truly be broken down, of course, not so long as there is liberty in the world, but they can be transcended. Verily, we do, we do so now in coming together for this grand endeavor to fight side by side in defense of our, sh or our shared home. Ugh. Before me stands the adventurer, Chrono Ocelot. You all know him as the man who will lead the, the unit tasked with the, destroying the Ultima weapon. We Scions know a different Chrono, however. We know him as a dear friend who has endured untold hardship on our behalf. A true hero who has never blazed a path who has ever blazed a path for us to follow. And why do I tell you this? I tell you, friends. Because it is time for us to blaze a path for, for him. Our objective is to wreak such havoc outside the walls of Miradianum as to afford Chrono and his comrades time they need to disable the Magitek field generator within. With the path thus cleared, we may finally turn our minds to the true goal of this operation the destruction of the Ultima weapon. All troops prepare for battle! Oh! So good, man. Makes me want to cry. I fear I cannot accompany you this time. The inevitable task of facilitating communications between our forces have been has been entrusted to the Ironworks. You see, so you see. Now, though, I will be praying for your safe return. Cheers, Sid. I appreciate that, bro. See that you come back to us, my friend. May the crystal bless you and keep you. We will suffer the black wolf to prowl our lands no more. Let us teach the hunter what it is to be hunted. Forward, comrades. For yours, yeah. For yours, yeah. Go now, Chrono, and bring us one step closer to the dawn. Good deal, good deal. Castrum Miradienum. Oh, okay, so it's an actual fate of some sort, or a, a dungeon of some sort. So this is also a level 51. I right, go figure. So I can take it on as my um, dragoon. It says, So begins the third phase of Operation Archeon, which entails a frontal assault from upon Castrum Miradienum. Gaius Van Belsar, Seat of Power, forming the main thrust, the immortal flames will strike at this stronghold with all their strength. Though this is but a feint, while the garrison's eyes are drawn outwards, you and your comrades must steal past its defenses and attempt to deactivate the Magitek field, which protects the Praetorium, the fortress within a fortress wherein the ultimate weapon is believed to be housed. Alright, so this is again a setup. Okay, 120 minutes. This is actually 30 minutes longer than normal um, dungeon videos. So this this will be kind of a fun run for us. Um, so for 8 players, 2 tanks, 2 healers, 4 DPS. And again, the above composition requirements are not required um, for preformed parties. So people, when you preform your groups within the same server... Um, before taking partaking in this, you do not have to have two tanks, two healers, four DPS. You can have six tanks, or uh, yeah, six tanks, two heal, or yeah, six tanks, one healer, one DPS, or all healers if you like. You know what, whatever you can, you can do it either way that you like to. Uh, probably the best thing to do would be to have at least two tanks, um, maybe four to five hit, four to five uh, DPS, two healers, or definitely two healers. Yeah, I don't know. Either way. Either way you want to do it. Doesn't matter. That's what they're saying. As long as you preform it in your server before you actually go into it. But if you go into your pickup group, as let's call it a PUG, P-U-G, then um, 
then that will go into that format. So pretty interesting indeed. But we have that listed on us perfectly. And we are only 15,000 away from our level 50 for a white mage. So um, tell you what we will do. We are going to uh, run about and have a few. We're going to run about and have a few um, different battles. Get us another 15,000. We could actually partake in it right now as our dragoon. And who knows, we might do that too. Who knows? Um, either way, though. Uh, for now, on behalf of Chrono Ocelot and Epoch here, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this edition of Game Time with Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn for the PlayStation 3. And uh, until next time, guys, this is all of us saying bye-bye, farewell, and we'll see you later.